Mm, welcome. We're another edition of What the Fuck Happening to YouTube Atheist Community and, uh, you know, the usual thing. Whatever. The um, debate room fun thing. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm running away all my water. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, this will be the junk portion of the video. I just figured I'll do junk portions of videos just because it annoys a couple of people. And it's just fun to be annoying. <laughs> you know, so maybe I'll make superfluous noises and uh, just useless jibber jabber and talk really slowly and do whatever I can to annoy the, you know, annoyable, um, the complainers. But yeah, it's just so irritating people. You know, you make thousands of videos, all kinds of variety of videos. You really are. You know, to the point, yelling, um, response videos, uh, you know, me doing my thing kind of videos, you know, all kinds. And, uh, you know, people just, <laughs> you know, complain I, I, for no good reason. Anyway, I'm trying to, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll talk about the features of the camera. So this is what they call night vision, which is pretty good in kind of low light, so I sort of like it, I think, um, but it's not too good in bright light, so, you know, when I'm really close to a light, then it's not too good, like here, ew, um, not too good, um, I think it's adjusted for the white balance even, I mean, it's a fluorescent bulb, you know, and I'm two feet away from it, so, uh, yeah, it doesn't do very well. Pasta, cooking pasta in this pot here. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. Yeah, no. No point in me explaining any of it. No point at all. But yes, stove in the porch does work. Um, and so I really don't use it for anything but boiling. I mean, you know, I don't cook anything. Um, I mean, I don't cook anything on the stove. Anyway, um, what else? Yeah, so I'll just do this in sections, I suppose. So last night, uh, yeah, I, was, I stayed in the room pretty late, seven hours worth, which is a lot more than I thought I'd do. And, uh, yeah, no worse for the uh, circumstance, I don't think. <laughs> so, yeah, it went all right. It wasn't too bad. Um, and uh, I'll see if there's something else to talk about. I mean, kind of same subjects. Well, I don't know. I talked about being gay a lot. Uh, well, for portions, anyway. So that was sort of irrelevant. Um, but yeah, it is all getting kind of consolidated into very few arguments that need to be made. You can say it all in, you know, three, four videos. It's almost like the physics argument. You know, I think I can do this cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. Uh, using fewer and fewer and fewer words, being more and more exact and concise. That's sort of where I'm heading for. So, I mean, I only made two notes, and I wrote down the words, you know, categories and properties. It's all we're arguing about. I mean, it's really, you know, categories become your properties. So, it's all circular, and there's just descriptive terminology, and the rest of the logic's done by the words themselves. You can't avoid, if you do it right, you, can't, you just can't avoid it. Uh, logic is just going to happen. It's built into the definition of the words. Anyway, yeah, I'll be back. Ah, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I really don't have much to add, though. No, uh, not much videos to watch, you know. Nobody's saying much except uh, crazy talk. So, you know, can't do much with crazy talk. Uh, Karina, you know, did make a new video. I know, you don't even know who that is nowadays. Uh, a couple of new videos, actually. Uh, one on a regular channel, I think. One on the other channel. Anyway, Noah's Ark thing, making fun of people building arcs and uh, and some other horrible stories from the Bible. And, yeah, you know, I mean, just it's got to be done. I mean, there's a ton of people that need to be talked to about their faith. <laughs> you know, and, and you know, they got to wise up and all that crap. Um, be whiz, whizzed up, uh, whizzed on, maybe, um, have some reality, you know, 
whiz on them and then maybe they'll you know be able to program start thinking reasonably about reality um, but yeah so many people don't want to do that anyway you know, the more physics <coughs> the more physicists they listen to the more you know they just sound like a, a religion um, you know it's almost like going back in time and you're you know, you're imagining people just coming up with explanations and um, you know why is there thunder and why is this and you can just see the ignorant people saying you know well you know some guy says something about well maybe it's just some sort of thing you know that goes on in the atmosphere or molecules or something I don't know some kind of silly stuff like that and you know and people are just saying no that's just too reasonable uh, an answer so yeah let's let's go find an unreasonable answer because yeah that's so much more fun um you know and it seems like that's what physics is doing but anyway it's just all i i mean you know sort of you know it's it's this it's kind of a reconditioning thing people have to do they have to do an honest hard reboot you know you have to you have to be willing philosophically to start over just say wait a minute let's just erase everything and just redo this because it was done by a bunch of idiots you know throughout history you know the norms the memes the notions it's all crap the the traditional sports the traditional hero worship that all the things that we admire every, everything about us has been you know cooked in a, a dirty pan uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's almost quotable you know um, you know, all the stupid, idiotic, you know, Nietzschean kind of philosophy, Randian crap. I mean, it's just so, de you know, it's just so depressing that people just caught on and clung to just silly notions of their salvation is in this competition or their salvation is in, the, you know, uh, you know, like somehow we're going to become super intelligent. That's going to make us so much more easy to satisfy. <laughs> yeah, no, not really. Uh, dream on. Um, so I, this is just ending up being a video about, um, you know, the task of getting people in a condition where they're receptive to a rational argument. She can't really reason with religious people because they just get too defensive. You know, oh, you're, you know, you're going to attack something that's fundamental to my existence. Oh, you can't do that they're addicted to it so they just can't hear the argument they just can't admit that they have a dependency on the notion of reality not evidence of reality that they're not really being reasonable you know nobody likes to admit that no one likes to be forced to admit that that's for certain probably should have put the stabilizer on maybe I don't know maybe it is on maybe that's what she's all jittery uh, but anyway, <laughs> just experimenting still. Sorry. I'm going to be doing that for a while. I do it every now and then. Experiments. I need to do some more elaborate ones, and then they'll be more interesting for you. But, you know, at the moment, this is all you're getting. So anyway, um, so yeah, the only thing, you know, I did finally see the Professor Anton video, and uh, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's not that interesting. Um, and then Anna Kantavad just doing this, well, you have to just accept that we're going to be irrational philosophers. And that's just what we do. That's humans. Humans like to be irrational. And irrational is really cool and fun. And you're just like, what? I mean, it's just a non-starter. I mean, if you're going to admit you're going to be irrational, that you're not going to allow a better argument to dissuade you or defeat you or change you or influence you I mean that's just bullshit it's like yeah going to the Olympics and just declaring yourself the winner even if you lose I mean, it's just bullshit um, so yeah it's just bullshit I don't know what are you, you going to say to that oh I don't have an inferior argument but I win no it doesn't work that so, um, you know, there's just no point. No, uh, you, know, you can't. What's the point of arguing with people who are conceding they're irrational? They are. They have a right to be. That there's something appropriate in the activity. Oh, pathetic. 
So that's not going to go anywhere. So there's just a little, you know, there's just not much to to play with here on the internet. And, uh, you know, I have a lot of my own agenda stuff to do, so I can certainly just make videos making my arguments. I don't need to make counter arguments. Um, but I guess I suppose it does help to see where people are. But, I mean, if people are in such deep denial that they are now declaring irrationality a reasonable way to think, <laughs> then what are you, you going to do with that? I mean, you know, these are the kind of, you got to tie these people into a chair and beat them with a hose or something for a while to get them rebooted. Right? I mean, there's no way to reboot somebody who's in that condition. So, um, yeah, so that's where we are. So, uh, we'll just see what happens, move along, day at a time, blah, blah, blah. Do my thing and see if something else, uh, see how it connects to the, the people, the, the yous out there. And uh, certainly have to do something to, um, you know, expand the audience and therefore the argumentation because um, yeah, that's sort of the job, right? The mission statement. Um, so, yeah, i got to be a better proselytizer. I don't know what that Be a better seller. Dancing girls and cartoons and you know. I'm doing some of that with Vlogger though. I'm trying to be more show ish <laughs> but yeah, it's still it's not what it needs to be somehow but uh, yeah I'm working on it so what can you do that's all I can do is keep uh, pushing different buttons and seeing if something happens that's all, that's all I got not much else it's an option but uh, yeah I mean, I think I'm better at pushing buttons. That's the irony of it. I think I'm better than I used to be, but I'm less entertaining. That's the catch, too. There's catches everywhere, the whole catch-22 thing in life. It just seems like there's just... Man, is it ever a prick of bush. You just, once you're in there, it's just, oh, I don't know. It might be easier just to stay than it is to try to get out. Or something like that. Something. I used to be tormented at a as a youth. People used to throw me in pricker bushes. Maybe it's my hair, you know. I used to get all stuck in the. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe it's. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why people did things that were, sort of. I mean, it just seems like they hated other people. They didn't throw in pricker bushes. It just seems, I guess they thought I was durable enough to take it, so it was okay. Where, you know, it might just be too rough for somebody else or something. I don't know what the thing was. But, yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's, it doesn't kill you. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, I don't know. Uh, anyway. I mean, yeah, the, you know, it is a tragedy of the whole thing is that you, you you get where you get, you know, through some, a lot of negative things that are what has an, a positive effect on you. You do something preposterously stupid, something happens, or you get lucky. You do something stupid and you get lucky, it turns out okay. And you got that, oh, shoo, did I ever dodge a bullet? I mean, those kind of events in your life are... Um, you know, they, they, they give you this perspective, this, this caution, and, and they make you a better person just because they make you aware of just how fragile it all is. It's a dangerous thing we're playing with, playing with other people, their emotions, how they feel. So, you know, it's not a minor thing, and it should be respected. And then these people just lie. You know, they get on the internet and just think, oh yeah, I'll just tell a bunch of people it's okay to be irrational. It's okay to be addicted and, you know, to, to make up nonsense excuses to remain addicted. I mean, they're just enablers. You know? 
not a great word, you know, it really got ruined in the 70s and 80s with all that preachy stuff, but it, there is a truth to it, you know. There is a truth to this, you know, if you're not with us, you're against this thing, you know, I mean, if you're not, you know, if you're not fighting the enemy, you're probably in some way helping the enemy. Just the way it works out. Yeah. I mean, to have a productive influence, it just isn't going to happen by accident. It's probably going to have to be a plan. All right. So there, that's enough. Whatever sermonizing. Uh, it's way too late to have to get up in the morning and uh, I don't know. I say it's one of those days. So, like I said, last night was okay. It was pretty good and um, tolerable. Survived it, whatever. But I mean, I do. I have this perspective thing. I'm just going through it. It's not a crisis. It's just a transition of uh, identity and. Um, <sighs> method. I'm trying a different method. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's not going to be different. Uh, it just feels different at the moment. But, you know, a lot of things do that. They just go to the same place and just see, hey, this place seems really different. You know, it's the same place. Just remembering it wrong. Something like that. So, anyway, till next time. And have a good week. And let's see what happens. Yeah. My hair is getting all thin again. I to take my vitamins or something. It's always something. It's not one thing, it's another. Yeah. Benjamin Franklin said that or something. Yeah. <laughs> said everything at least once. Yeah.